Well, did you read the Fauci emails? Yes. The Freedom of Information emails? That's really crazy. Because well, he, first of all, he's admitting in these emails that masks don't work. He's, he was he? Yes. Yeah, he talked about it. Talked about it openly. Uh, wait, I didn't know that part. I knew. Yeah. I only. Uh, here's, here's I thought you were going to talk about the. Uh, well, that too. The but here's the thing. thing. But part of the email was look. Part of the mask conversation with Fauci has always been that at the beginning of the pandemic, he said masks didn't work. Uh -huh. But then he said the reason he said that is because there wasn't enough masks for first responders and hospital staff, and he didn't. He wanted to make sure that the supply wasn't right. diminished. So he said that he didn't tell the truth. Uh -huh. Right. Okay. But in these emails. He's also, this is private emails. He's right. saying masks don't work. For he's, real? Yes. He's saying that they're, they're, they're not effective for what you, outside of a hospital setting, uh -huh. these masks, like for personal use, the, the kind of cloth masks and yeah. paper masks that everybody's wearing, they're, they're not effective. They're not, they can't, exactly what did he say? Let's, let's pull it up yeah. so we get exactly what he said. But that's not even the big part. The big part is he's talking about gain of function research in the Wuhan lab, and he's concerned about it. And thinking whether or not they had paused that and whether they're still doing that. And he's trying to connect the gain of function research in the Wuhan lab with this COVID breakout and uh -huh. whether or not that's where it came from. Right. And why is that a big deal? Because that's, he, they funded it. The NIH funded these people who funded the gain of function research uh -huh. in the Wuhan lab, which means they're responsible for funding the very research that led to this outbreak, if that's where it came from. Right. So all this time when he's been saying it came from nature, there's no way it came from a lab. Well, you know that's shifted, right? Now everybody's saying well, now it came from a lab. Right. They, right. Right. But then not because confirmed the evidence. Yet. Right. right. But the evidence is pointing. Yeah. As it's most likely that it came from a lab. Uh -huh. but this whole time, Fauci's been saying it didn't. But you see in his emails that he was concerned. Well, concerned. But isn't that? But isn't that like just trying to figure out what the information is? Not really. I mean, because he doesn't definitively know either, right? There's a lot of indications, according to the email, mm -hmm. that he's talking to another scientist. Right. And the scientist points out the variables or the, 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 um, the components of the virus mm -hmm. that seem to indicate that it possibly came from a lab. Uh -huh. But publicly, he's been out and out dismissing that. Because to he's connected end? to because, that research. Because he's, uh, because he's connected to the very research they were doing there. Uh-huh. It's really complicated shit. It's confused. Yeah. Rand Paul's been grilling him. Have you seen those things? Here you go. Typical mask you buy in a drugstore is not really effective in keeping out the virus, which is small enough to pass through the material. It might, however, provide some slight benefit in keeping out gross droplets if someone coughs or sneezes on you. I do mm -hmm. not recommend that you wear a mask, particularly since you're going to a very...